I rise as a proud co-lead of the Combating International Islamophobia Act. In the United States alone, nearly 70% of American Muslims have reported personally experienced anti-Muslim hate, bigotry, and even violence. And this anti-Muslim hate isn't just confined to certain communities and areas of this country. It has, it has um, reached out in ugly ways, including in my own community, in my own district, to a member of my staff and her family. My colleagues and friends and uh, Congress uh, know that uh, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, the chief chair of this, uh, 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 sponsor of this legislation, knows all about this in far too personal a way. She has been subjected to relentless attacks and horrifying threats, not just from her fellow Americans, but even within the halls of Congress. And enough is enough. This should not be a controversial bill. We have, had, um, uh, we have had a special envoy to monitor and combat anti-Semitism for years, and I proudly support that office's work. And as a Jew myself, I see the parallel quite directly between anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, and we need to be combating both. As a nation that prides itself on defending human rights and standing up against hate and bigotry, creating a special envoy to monitor and combat Islamophobia makes perfect sense. And I urge all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to do what is right, which is to vote yes on the Combating International Islamophobia Act. And I yield back.